This is the biggest protest ever outside the U.S. Embassy. Not many people know the U.S. Ambassador appointed by Trump is Woody Johnson from the Johnson & Johnson family, the biggest pharmaceutical company in the U.S. Do you see it like Hong Kong, just like any other country that should be like, we should have a ban on going there? Are you yeah. boycotting them? Yeah, I'm boycotting U.S. Yeah. For the foreseeable. You're just not going there? Not going, not buying from them as much as I can boycott, full strength. If you hurt their pockets, then they'll, they'll listen to us. Over 11,000 Americans were put in jail last week for protesting, but not one of them was Breonna Taylor's killer. That is not okay. The U.S. Embassy building behind me is among the ugliest buildings in London right now, just finished. It's not clear what the U.S. Embassy perimeter actually is and when foreign territory starts and ends and where the machine guns are. They have built a canal around the embassy. You could put alligators in there. The newest building, high-tech security. See, between the bushes, there's a line of poles. They thought about every eventuality of people storming in. Many security lines, bushes, poles, bushes. What do you think of facial recognition, the police scanning our faces? Like, I have this mask also covering the eyes. Yeah. Because then, then you, they can't see, if they can see our eyes, yeah, they can, tell they can scan are. the face. That's, the, that's why they want us to wear masks to see if they can still recognize our faces whilst we have masks on. Obviously, they have the latest technology, so if they want to be able to see us, then they can. I think the reason, the reason why we wear masks is it's corona, isn't it? And to, to protect ourselves. Those are risks we have to take. Because if not us, who, who will be out here demanding for justice, if not us? Should the UK sanction the US in any way? The UK are just as culpable as the US. They are as one. As much as they will speak of human rights, why is it the UK wants to leave the EU? One of the main reasons is they want to get away from human rights governance. And the US Embassy should be not be here, we should remove US diplomats? No, we need, you need different diplomacy throughout, throughout the country for, for times like this so they can hear us. Because of the way the UK and US have a close relationship, the UK should use that relationship to actually try and make a difference. I wanted to ask English policemen what they thought about the differences between them and American police officers. Do you think the UK police is fundamentally different than the US police? I'm not in the US, I don't know what, what's going on in the, in the United States, do I? Do you want to comment on police brutality no, in the US? Sure. Okay. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Think it's different the UK police than US police? Definitely. Okay. Fundamentally different? Well, isn't it? It's a totally different legislation, so it's going to be different. Yeah. We don't carry guns. They use knees, not just guns in the US. They use these knees. The UK police have no idea what's happening in the US. They've done zero research. I think throughout my life, I've been stopped and searched like maybe 20 times or something like that. Like, I literally have no criminal record. I've never done anything out of line. I'm a straight A student and everything. But yeah, just because of what I look like, some police suspect yeah. immediately. In this country, you're 9.5 times more likely to be stopped and searched if you're a black person. Black people make up 3% of the UK population, but 12% of the prison population. In a similar way to America, our communities are underfunded and over-policed. So yes, I think it's a good time to start the conversation over here, yes. Are you an influencer? I'm not an influencer in any way, shape or form.